mists where the elven mage had concealed her. There was no time to rejoice, for the wild hunt descended on them. They fled, Siri teleporting them to Kir Morin, where their friends awoke. A great battle ensued, and the fortress's defenders might all have perished had Siri not demonstrated her powers. So sudden and violent was her outburst that the wild hunt was forced to withdraw. The battle was won, the war had barely started. Zirel can harness immense amounts of the power. Why has no one taught her to control this? Actually, some did teach her. Clearly, to no effect. I'll gladly argue with you about this, some other time. Haven't had a chance to talk. Thanks for your help. And for looking after Siri. You will thank me later. Now we must take Zirel from here, Haida. And then gather a greater force. Anyone, everyone we could count on came here to care Morhen. Which is why we must seek the help of enemies. Magic is our best defense against the hunt. We need sorceresses. Arch mistresses of magic. You mean the Lodge? I don't want the Lodge anywhere near Ciri. Just don't trust those women. What would you have us do instead? Fight alone and die a beautiful but pointless death? No, Geralt. By some miracle, we survived that fight, eking out a measly victory at enormous cost. No more guerrilla warfare. Time to face the enemy in open battle. I've made an agreement with the Emperor. In exchange for its help, the Lodge will be granted amnesty and find asylum in Nilfgaard. That will be our bargaining chip. Triss, I wish to leave today to find the sorceresses. Will you help me? Of course. Even got an idea where you could start. Damn it! Again you planned without even asking what I think! I've had enough of this! I won't be taken somewhere like a... bundle. I will not sit and twiddle my thumbs. I am sick of waiting, sick of hiding! You're right. Prove today you can take care of yourself. Easier to pat someone on the back and hope things will work out than it is to face the truth. Jirel possesses a great power she cannot control. She is a danger to herself, to others. Until she learns to control it, she should remain isolated. First of all, bollocks. Second, if you're going to speak of courage, at least address me directly and not through Geralt. I'm gone. Better go after her. Wait, she needs time. We must let her resolve her grief on her own. Then we should start training as soon as possible. She must learn to control her abilities. This training really necessary? You saw what happened. She could be a greater threat than the hunt. Fine. We'll stay here a while longer, then join you and Triss in Novigrad. Meet at Dandelion's Inn. Come on, Yen. The sooner we leave, the better. See ya.
working, don't you see? Discouraged after a mere eight attempts? Sierra. How many times must I try? As many as it takes. But I'm not getting anywhere. We shall return to this later. Didn't make it far first time out on the gauntlet either. Oh, Geralt, please, not now. By comparison, the gauntlet was a walk in the park. But that's not the point. What is? Avalach says nothing will come of this until I stop thinking about the battle. But at the moment, I find it impossible to fill my head with kittens and vanilla pudding. Tell me, how do you do it? What? Always manage to pull yourself together. Focus. No matter what's happening. Hmm. There's a certain ancient method. Vesemir taught it to me, and Barman taught it to him. Will you take me into the mountains and make me drink hemlock? The Skellica druids have used it for centuries. It always works. Hey! You'll regret that! Right. That really works. Thanks. Glad to be of service. So what now? I'll go see where our dearest sage is. Saddle the horses. Siri, it's the crack of dawn. Where do you want to go? To Velen, Bald Mountain. But a few days till the Witch's Sabbath. 
and guess who's the guest of honor. Don't know. Enlighten me. Imlerith. We'll have no better chance to get him. Where'd you get this idea? What's gotten into you? I must avenge Vesemir. The Sabbath. It's the perfect opportunity. Imlerith will be drunk among his cohorts, caught up in the revelry. He'll not expect the blow. Siri, sure you know what you're getting into? Yes, and I must do this. Come, we shall talk on the way. Wait, something I gotta tell you before we go. You know, the Emperor really wanted you found. Yennefer mentioned something. Wanted you to visit him. Why would you tell me now? Because this could be your last chance to see your... father. Think I should go? Probably just wants to talk. How can you be sure? What if he wants something more? Promised me he wouldn't force you to do anything. So I should go? He is your father. Vizima is on the way. I suppose we can drop in. Ready? Let's go. After the Battle of Kaer Morhen, the Defenders licked their wounds and mourned their losses, save Ciri who began to plan her revenge. She woke Geralt one night and urged him to travel with her to Velen, to the top of Bald Mountain, where she knew she'd find Imlarith. She had decided he had to die. Your Imperial Majesty, Geralt of Rivia, and... Cyrilla Fiona Ellen Rhiannon, Queen of Sintra, Princess of Bruges, and Duchess of Sutton. Heiress to Ines Ard Skellig and Ines Ann Skellig, and Suzerain of Atra and Abiara. Get used to it. Before long, every soul from Milfgaard to the Dragon Mountains will kneel before you. I did not expect you to keep your word, Witcher. Ciri wanted to hear what you have to say. And she will. Your reward. Didn't come to collect on a deal. You asked me to bring your daughter here. I did just that. Siri will hear you out. Then we leave. Are you sure? Never again would you need to stalk monsters while wading through sewage. I'm sure. I understand. Honor prevents you from accepting coin. In that case, a stallion, a thoroughbred Nilf guardian, awaits you in the stables. Treat it as an expression of my gratitude. Thank you. Now forgive me. I wish to speak to my daughter. Follow me, sir.
White Wolf, good to see you. Greetings, General. You had no trouble crossing the Ponta, I trust. None. I take it you crossed via the ford near Banglin? It's fortunate you did not choose to ride through Rhind. A troubled region still. Radovid seeks to breach the front in the west. But he'll not succeed. Not before the princess becomes empress and we bring order to the area. Of course. While we're on the subject, how is our future ruler? Must admit I'm curious how she'll react when she hears the throne will be hers. I venture to say she'll be delighted. You never know. Yes, of course, she's tactful, not one to celebrate an offer not yet made. But this is not the kind of offer one refuses. Isn't it? Do you know any who would not like to be Emperor of Nilfgaard? Can you imagine? I thought only the wine-addled minds of bards and poets could give birth to such stories. The prodigal daughter of the most powerful ruler in the continent's history returns on the eve of his final triumph to embrace her inheritance. Simpletons adore such stories as they do the princesses, ever beautiful and delicate rather. Geralt, we're leaving. So nice to see you, my lady. Likewise. Time we were on our way. A shame you can't stay. I hope to continue this on another occasion. That makes one of us. Well? If he thinks he can buy me, he is sorely mistaken. He offer anything specific? Yes, very specific. And thoroughly absurd. Sorry, I don't want to talk about it. Not now, at least. Won't pressure you. When you're ready, let's go. After the Battle of Kaer Morhen, the Defenders licked their wounds and mourned their losses, save Ciri who began to plan her revenge. She woke Geralt one night and urged him to travel with her to Velen, to the top of Bald Mountain, where she knew she'd find Imlarith. She had decided he had to die.
The men at Crow's Perch, they spoke of this place. Ard Serbin, home of the ladies of the wood. The peasants feared coming here, and the Baron thought the ladies of the wood a terrifying tale for naughty children. Incidentally, I wonder how the Baron is. Hanged himself after his wife died. Daughter's in Novigrad. A true shame. You actually know this area? Centuries ago, it was a hallowed site for druids. But then the crones arrived, destroyed the Velen Circle, and deformed the sacred oak atop the mountain. An important feast is observed here annually. The Sabbath, they call it. All the local folk attend. I suspect Imlareth attends too, as the crone's guest. Seem to know it well. Havelark's a good tutor. Let's get this done. We must reach the peak. We'll find Imlareth there. The peasant folk of Velen call this night the Feast of Gifts. I've no idea why. Avalach claims vanity is Imlareth's greatest weakness. Vanity? Any foe he faces, he strives to impress. Geralt? Hardly surprising, given he was Avalok's student. Geralt? Should I shoot? The White One once served the ladies. <laughs> Let them approach. But <laughs> They've come for the feast. Wouldn't do to cast them out. Didn't come to celebrate. We need to get to the top of the mountain. The gate is shut. You'll not pass. But we fires down that away, and food and drink are plenty. Sit down beside one, and perhaps this year the ladies will descend. Give us the privilege of seeing them. We thank you for the invitation. Be glad to sit down, right? Speak for yourself. Come with me. Celebration. What's it about? What do you need to know, Wanderer? No need for anger. The White Ones serve the ladies as we do now. We send them gifts all year long. And on this night, they repay us with their blessing. I met one of your gifts to the crones. Snivelling. Scared to death and about eight years old. Stay calm. Your children. Why do the ladies need them? We know not and never ask. You don't know? Then let me tell you. Tell us instead what a peasant, his own young and starving, is to do with a wandering war orphan. You're not from here. Don't judge us by others' laws. Heard enough about this. We've got other questions. We should be going. Eager to see the ladies, I share your yearning. We're afire with yearning. Come, Geralt, we must get there before daybreak. Go to the tent and stand before Thecla. She's the one who decides who's worthy to face the ladies. Already. A bit one-sided though it was. 
See, I saw you running. You're back to me. As I was <laughs> having the pleasure of... Oh, tis a long story. They call me Siri. Nice to meet you. How are things, Johnny? Health's good, so no complaints. What brings you here? We gotta climb the mountain. Can you help? I'd rather try to dissuade you. I'm certain that would be in vain. The lass. She is stubborn as you. Even more so. Figured as much. Oh. Path to the peak starts there. Past the gate. But only old Thekla's got the key. So since you shan't ever get it, you best turn back now. Gotta get to the summit. Simple as that. It's Thekla you'll need to convince. She's blind as your bum, but she won't be fooled. We shan't try to trick her. She sits in that tent over yonder. I wish you luck, and do hope we meet again, someday. Moons are rising up. Oh, it's not ready! You've got a wait! When you get to thinner, that is to None of you is working. that? Well, come on, come closer, girl. Aye. What's she like? Narrow hips, sparkly eyes, a striking feisty lass. Never had a man. Never mind. Got me answer. I choose you, girl. This night you shall see the ladies. If she goes up the mountain, I go with her. <laughs> what else has the cat dragged in? It's grey and veiny, got a scar, and eyes like a viper. Aye. Stinks of clotted blood and corpses. Plus it's old and infertile. I reject ye, freak. The girl will ascend alone. You misjudged me. I'm worthy as anyone. Girl? He's sprier than any youth. Only smells like corpses because he kills monsters. And he'll kill any who stand in his way. Perhaps I was mistaken. Perhaps there's life in him yet. By ancient right you may appeal my choice. But to do so you must best the challenge. I accept the challenge. <laughs> Come. Look this over. A coin from days of yore. Falker burns on its reverse, so they call it the Defiers Or. Now, bring me the coin. Something's afoot. Something's nigh.
To worry. Something's afoot. Ah! They're back. What do you want? Got that coin you tossed in the lake. It reeks of sludge. Nothing I can do about that. So, gonna keep your word? I always do, my boy. Show the coin to the gatekeeper past the threshold. He'll know its meaning. Marika will open the gate for you. Now go! That went smoothly. Weren't the one to do the diving in that cave. Stop whining. You're a witcher. You've dived in murkier water. Yeah, I have to tell you about the time I hunted a Zubo. yours. <clears throat> Your name don't matter. Atop the peak you'll lose it and get another. You may go. And you? I passed the trial. Here's proof. Recognize it? The Defiers, Oren. A death sentence. No time to lose. I'll tend to Imlirith, you take the crones. Avalark said they dwell below the oak, among its roots. No chance. I'm going after Imlirith. <sighs> Fine, let's play for it. Rock, paper, scissors.
Out of the question. I'll climb the mountain, you face the crones. Hardly a challenge. They're extremely dangerous. Be careful. You too. Let's get down there. Oh, hell. I guess I must jump. Return. Your taste lingers on our tongues. You've talked enough.
it sent a summit. Gotta be. Place of power. Should draw from it. Sisters said you would come. They saw you arrive in the water's surface. They did not see the girl. But she is with you, is she not? the girl. Doesn't matter. You'll never get her. You fall to the bitter end. to fight like this. The Witcher you slew. We did it. Barely. How'd it go down there? I slew only two of the crones. 
The third fled. With Vesemir's medallion. My sole memento. Coming here? Good idea. I knew we'd succeed. From the start. Now to find Eredin and kill him. An Orin for your thoughts? Wondering what to tell Yennefer when we get to Novigrad. Tell her the truth. Always. I wonder if Triss and Yennefer have found the sorceresses of the Lodge. We ought to rejoin them. Yeah, let's get going. Thank you for coming with me. Come here. Let's go. The oak is dead. The oak, the crones. I fear that was your last feast. What of our acorns? Don't know, don't care. You must learn to live without them. This is no longer no man's land. It's no longer the lady's land. It's all yours. But what are we to do? Come, Geralt. It's time. Manage. On your own. Non-humans. But it was mages the hunters and the temple guard were after. Mages left. Hunters needed a new quarry. Hatred and prejudice will never be eradicated. And witch hunts will never be about witches. To have a scapegoat, that's the key. Humans always fear the alien, the odd. Once the mages had left Novigrad, folk turned their anger against the other races, and as they have for ages, branded their neighbors their greatest foes. Geralt had found you. Glad to see you in one piece too, Dandelion. Where have you two been? Just finished hunting down the crones of Velen and a general of the Wild Hunt. Well, you were a busy mom then, haven't you? In fact, you look terrible. Like you could really use some rest. Gladly take some. 
point me to a room? Of course. Come on, little swallow. I'll take you. Let's meet later, Geld. I have a little matter to resolve. I'll freshen up, then await you in the square in Gildorf. Right. Anything happened while we were away? Uh, pretty Polly came down with a fever, Matt Oyster caught a knife between the ribs, and they're late delivering the sodden triple meat. Dandelion. Lodge of sorceresses. Triss and Yen were supposed to gather the remnants. They're working on it. Triss is upstairs, waiting for you. Yennefer's gone to crippled Kate's. Yen? At that portside dive? Why? Didn't inform me. Imagine that. Ah, and that elf of yours moved into the ruby suite. Told me to tell you he's waiting, too. Thanks. Looks like I'll have my hands full. We can gather it here. 